give the people what they want. You can't say no to them. Ha ha ha. Anyways, Lewis structure of NO+. Plus. Nitrogen brings five electrons with it, and oxygen brings six in its valence shell, I should point out. If I went to the periodic table, I'd note that nitrogen was a one, two, three, four, fifth element in its row, and oxygen is the one, two, three, four, five, sixth element in its row. So it's five for nitrogen, six valence electrons for oxygen, and a plus charge means that you lose an electron to give 10 electrons total. Now, you only get an N and an O, so you have to bond them at least singly to start with. Now, I like filling the octets on my outer atoms first, but I don't really have an outer atom here. I'm gonna choose the more electronegative atom. That's uh, one, two electrons for this bond, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I need 10 total, but I've already filled the octet on oxygen, so I need to take those extra two electrons and put them on the N. Now this is not complete because the octet rule is not followed for nitrogen. The way that we alleviate that is to move electron pairs that belong only to oxygen and share them in this covalent bond. These two electrons, for example, will move right in here to become another bond, a double bond in this case. This nitrogen now has one, two, three, four, five, six electrons around it, but that's not enough either. Let's take two more electrons and push them so they're shared. That's a triple bond. Nitrogen now has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons. That satisfies the octet rule, yes. And so my final structure here is an N triple bonded to an O. One lone pair on the oxygen, one lone pair on the nitrogen, and this is it. This should remind you of the Lewis structure of carbon monoxide, because carbon monoxide, CO, also has 10 electrons. And I want to point out Lewis structures for ions have square brackets around them with the ion charge written as a superscript on the bracket. This is your final Lewis structure. Thanks for sticking with me, and best of luck.